hey loves welcome back to my channel so today we will be doing zucchini bread so I'm gonna jump right into it and let you know what we have here so we have two medium-sized zucchini and we grated them we have two cups of all-purpose flour and we have one cup of whole wheat flour we have one cup of vegetable oil here we have three eggs we have some vanilla we have honey we're going to be using half a cup of honey we have one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda we have one teaspoon of salt and we have our nutmeg here freshly grated nutmeg we're going to be doing that right into the batter so i have one and a half nutmeg there and in this little container here we have two tablespoons of cinnamon and one tablespoon of mixed spice and in here we have one and a half cup of granulated sugar so these are all the things that we'll be using in our in our zucchini bread today so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with putting all of this together all right so in our container we're gonna go ahead and add our um or flour mixture so as i said we have one cup of wheat flour and then we added two cups of all-purpose flour generally anytime i'm doing um like these kinds of breads i normally use a mixture of whole wheat and white flour and all-purpose flour white flour because i like the texture so to that we're also going to add tablespoon of baking powder and baking soda we're going to also add the one tablespoon of salt and we're going to add the spice which is the two tip two tablespoons of cinnamon and one tablespoon of mixed spice now before I'm not sure if I said tablespoon but it is one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt not tablespoon i think i said tablespoon so just mixing all of that together to incorporate that into the flour mixture and that's that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and grate the nutmeg this is what they look like in case persons do, do not know so i'm just gonna hold the grater over it and just grate it into the bowl. So we've just grated the nutmeg in and we're just going to mix that as well into our flour mixture. Now this is a relatively easy um, bread to put together because you don't need a mixer, you don't need any of that. Just a, You just need a bowl and something to mix with. If you don't have a spatula, you can use a regular spoon. So it's re very easy to put together. All right, so once we've done this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add our zucchini. 
Just taking it up with my hand and sprinkling it in with our flour. As I said, I used two medium zucchini and I just grated it or shredded it. Now, I know some persons might not like to use this much, but trust me, I love when you can actually see and taste the zucchini in it. And I remember first doing this and persons used to say, oh my God, how does that taste? And I'm like, trust me, it is so good. So, and I make very different variations of this. Sometimes I will add pineapple to it. Sometimes I'll even add carrots, I'll add raisins, I'll add nuts. I have very different variations of it. You can even add banana to it to make it a banana zucchini bread. So if you'd like to see me do different variations of it, you can let me know down in the comment section. So this is how it is. Just putting it and mixing it all together. Once you've done that from here, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is add our sugar to the mixture. Now, you can definitely substitute the granulated sugar and use brown sugar. I even prefer to use the brown sugar, but I don't have any right now, so I got to use what I have. So I use the granulated sugar this time on, but can definitely substitute it for brown sugar even coconut sugar if you would like if you want to reduce the sweetness of it you can also remove half a cup and just use one cup of the sugar and you should be fine as well all right so we just continue mixing we just added the sugar and we're just mixing all of that together all right so from here I'm just gonna make a little well and our eggs, we're going to go ahead and crack them and put them into the bowl. Now, just a tip, when you're going to do eggs, always try to crack it in something before you put it in your batter, just in case they're not good. That means you wouldn't have spoiled your entire batter. So... Adding it one, one at a time. Two. And the last one, we're adding three. That's it, all three eggs are in. Just need to break up that egg yolk. And right in, we're going to add the oil. So it's one cup of vegetable oil. And then we are going to use half a cup of honey. So right in the cup that we have the vegetable oil in, we're going to pour in the honey. It makes it easier to come out once you've added it to it. Once you've because you know oil is slippery so the honey will come right out instead of sticking to the glass. So as I said, this is organic local honey.
now the zucchini it's going to spring water while it's in the oven while it's baking so it's gonna don't look at the mixture and say it's too thick trust me it's going to be just perfect the only thing we have not added as yet is the vanilla and we're gonna add that in a quick second all right so we're gonna go ahead we i'm using our local benjamin artificial vanilla i need to go get some but this is what i have now so i'm gonna use two tablespoons if i was using my the other vanilla that i get normally get from virginia dear then i'd only use the one tablespoon but the benjamin i'm gonna use two to ensure that i get that flavor in Just mix all of that together and you notice when you're mixing you want to always scrape the bottom of your bowl to ensure that you're incorporating all of the ingredients into the batter and it's properly mixed and that's it guys so we're done putting it together and this is how the batter looks when it's all done all right so we are gonna go ahead and pour them in our pan that we've prepared I have two loaf pans that we're gonna add this to so let's go ahead and get those There we go. Just enough for our two pans. Now our oven has already been has already been preheated to about 375 degrees. And we're gonna go ahead and pop them in the oven and we're gonna bake them for about 40 to 45 minutes at first now depending on the temperature of your oven the timing may be a little bit different but at about 40 minutes you can just start watching them to see ensure that you preheat the oven they preheat the oven they bake in a shorter period but if you just pop them in the oven once you've just did the oven then it's gonna take longer all right so that's it all done and we're gonna put them in our oven now to start baking all right love so our zucchini breads are out the oven sorry about that loads of footage was a little bit blurry but here we go see our zucchini breads are out of the oven see press sunday come right back do you see those little fleckles oh i love it so good so they're all done so they were in for about hmm, 
45 to 50 minutes and that's it so once they're cool we're going to take them out of the pan and i'm going to cut them and let you see the insides but yes all right love so we have cooled and now i'm gonna cut into it and show you so we just move the sides turn it around and let me cut it in half Look at that. There we go. Our zucchini bread done. If you look, you can see the little speckles of green. And it is so awesome. Hello, so I am going to be tasting the zucchini bread. Let's see what it tastes. So, here we go. It's so moist. As you can see, it's so good, guys. So, let me know when you try the recipe what you think and if you have any suggestions on anything that I can add because I said I've done many variations of this sometimes I like pineapple sometimes I do with nuts and even sometimes banana so it just depends on what I have around the house all right so again thank you guys so much for subscribing and for those of you who have not go ahead and hit the subscription button below and please tell a friend to come and join my space Come onto in YouTube and join Trevina Space. All right. So thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. And I have a very special video coming up because you know I've been getting a lot of questions about just me in general, and I'm planning on doing a video to just answer some of those questions. So watch out for that one. All right. I'll see you in the next video.